Read-only memory is a class of storage medium used in computers and other electronic devices. Data stored in ROM can only be modified slowly or with difficulty, or not at all, so it is mainly used to distribute firmware. Strictly, read-only memory refers to memory that is hardwired, such as diode matrix in the later mask ROM. Although discrete circuits can be altered, ICs cannot and are useless if the data is bad. The fact that such memory can never be changed is a large drawback. More recently, ROM commonly refers to memory that is read-only in normal operation, while reserving the fact of some possible way to change it. Other types of non-volatile memory such as erasable programmable read-only memory and electrically erasable programmable read-only memory are sometimes referred to, in an abbreviated way, as read-only memory. Although these types of memory can be erased and reprogrammed multiple times, writing to this memory takes longer and may require different procedures than reading the memory. When used in this less precise way, ROM indicates a non-volatile memory which serves functions typically provided by mask ROM, such as storage of program code and non-volatile data. History The simplest type of solid-state ROM is as old as semiconductor technology itself. Combinational logic gates can be joined manually to map n-bit address input onto arbitrary values of n-bit data output. With the invention of the integrated circuit came mask ROM. Mask ROM consists of a grid of word lines and bit lines, selectively joined together with transistor switches, and can represent an arbitrary lookup table with a regular physical layout and predictable propagation delay. In mask ROM, the data is physically encoded in the circuit, so it can only be programmed during fabrication. This leads to a number of serious disadvantages, it is only economical to buy mask ROM in large quantities, since users must contract with the foundry to produce a custom design. The turnaround time between completing the design for a mask ROM and receiving the finished product is long, for the same reason. Mask ROM is impractical for R&D work since designers frequently need to modify the contents of memory as they refine a design. If a product is shipped with faulty mask ROM, the only way to fix it is to recall the product and physically replace the ROM in every unit shipped. Subsequent developments have addressed these shortcomings. PROM, invented in 1956, allowed users to program its contents exactly once by physically altering its structure with the application of high-voltage pulses. This addressed problems 1 and 2 above, since a company can simply order a large batch of fresh PROM chips and program them with the desired contents at its designer's convenience. The 1971 invention of EPROM essentially solved problem 3, since EPROM can be repeatedly reset to its unprogrammed state by exposure to strong ultraviolet light. EPROM, invented in 1983, went a long way to solving problem 4, since an EPROM can be programmed in place if the containing device provides a means to receive the program contents from an external source. Flash memory invented at Toshiba in the mid-1980s, and commercialized in the early 1990s, is a form of EEPROM that makes very efficient use of chip area and can be erased and reprogrammed thousands of times without damage. All of these technologies improve the flexibility of ROM, but at a significant cost per chip, so that in large quantities mask ROM would remain an economical choice for many years. Rewritable technologies were envisioned as replacements for mask ROM. The most recent development is NAND Flash, also invented at Toshiba. Its designers explicitly broke from past practice, stating plainly that the aim of NAND Flash is to replace hard disks, rather than the traditional use of ROM as a form of non-volatile primary storage. As of 2007, NAND has partially achieved this goal by offering throughput comparable to hard disks, higher tolerance of physical shock, extreme miniaturization, and much lower power consumption. Used for storing programs, every stored program computer may use a form of non-volatile storage to store the initial program that runs when the computer is powered on or otherwise begins execution. Likewise, every non-trivial computer needs some form of mutable memory to record changes in its state as it executes. Forms of read-only memory were employed as non-volatile storage for programs in most early stored program computers, such as the NIAC after 1948. 
read-only memory was simpler to implement since it needed only a mechanism to read stored values, and not to change them in place, and thus could be implemented with very crude electromechanical devices. With the advent of integrated circuits in the 1960s, both ROM and its mutable counterpart static RAM were implemented as arrays of transistors and silicon chips. However, a ROM memory cell could be implemented using fewer transistors than an SRAM memory cell, since the latter needs a latch to retain its contents, while a ROM cell might consist of the absence or presence of one transistor connecting a bit line to a word line. Consequently, ROM could be implemented at a lower cost per bit than RAM for many years. Most home computers of the 1980s stored a basic interpreter or operating system in ROM as other forms of non-volatile storage such as magnetic disk drives were too costly. For example, the Commodore 64 included 64 kilobytes of RAM and 20 kilobytes of ROM contained a basic interpreter and the kernel of its operating system. Later home or office computers such as the IBM PC XT often included magnetic disk drives, and larger amounts of RAM, allowing them to load their operating systems from disk into RAM, with only a minimal hardware initialization core and bootloader remaining in ROM. This arrangement allowed for a more complex and easily upgradable operating system. In modern PCs, ROM is used to store the basic bootstrapping firmware for the main processor, as well as the various firmware needed to internally control self-contained devices such as graphic cards, hard disks, DVD drives, TFT screens, etc., in the system. Today, many of these read-only memories are Euro especially the BIOS are Euro are often replaced with flash memory, to permit in-place reprogramming should the need for a firmware upgrade arise. However, simple and mature subsystems may employ mask ROM or OTP. ROM and successor technologies such as Flash are prevalent in embedded systems. These are in everything from industrial robots to home appliances and consumer electronics all of which are designed for specific functions, but are based on general purpose microprocessors. With software usually tightly coupled to hardware, program changes are rarely needed in such devices. As of 2008, most products use Flash rather than Mask ROM and many provide some means for connecting to a PC for firmware updates. For example, a digital audio player might be updated to support a new file format. Some hobbyists have taken advantage of this flexibility to reprogram consumer products for new purposes. For example, the iPod Linux and OpenWRT projects have enabled users to run full-featured Linux distributions on their MP3 players and wireless routers, respectively. ROM is also useful for binary storage of cryptographic data, as it makes them difficult to replace, which may be desirable in order to enhance information security. Used for storing data, since ROM cannot be modified, it is really only suitable for storing data which is not expected to need modification for the life of the device. To that end, ROM has been used in many computers to store lookup tables for the evaluation of mathematical and logical functions. This was especially effective when CPUs were slow and ROM was cheap compared to RAM. Notably, the display adapters of early personal computers stored tables of bitmap font characters in ROM. This usually meant that the text display font could not be changed interactively. This was the case for both the CGA and MDA adapters available with the IBM PC XT. The use of ROM to store such small amounts of data has disappeared almost completely in modern general-purpose computers. However, flash ROM has taken over a new role as a medium for mass storage or secondary storage of files. Types Semiconductor-based, classic mask-programmed ROM chips are integrated circuits that physically encode the data to be stored, and thus it is impossible to change their contents after fabrication. Other types of non-volatile solid-state memory permit some degree of modification, programmable read-only memory, or one-time programmable ROM, can be written to or programmed via a special device called a PROM programmer. Typically, this device uses high voltages to permanently destroy or create internal links within the chip. Consequently, a PROM can only be programmed once. Erasable programmable read-only memory can be erased by exposure to strong ultraviolet light, then rewritten with a process that again needs higher than usual voltage applied. 
repeated exposure to UV light will eventually wear out an EPROM, but the endurance of most EPROM chips exceeds 1000 cycles of erasing and reprogramming. EPROM chip packages can often be identified by the prominent quartz window, which allows UV light to enter. After programming, the window is typically covered with a label to prevent accidental erasure. Some EPROM chips are factory erased before they are packaged, and include no window. These are effectively PROM. Electrically erasable programmable read-only memory is based on a similar semiconductor structure to EPROM, but allows its entire contents to be electrically erased, then rewritten electrically, so that they need not be removed from the computer. Writing or flashing an EEPROM is much slower than reading from a ROM or writing to a RAM. Electrically alterable read-only memory is a type of EEPROM that can be modified one bit at a time. Writing is a very slow process and again needs higher voltage than is used for read access. EAROMs are intended for applications that require infrequent and only partial rewriting. EAROM may be used as non-volatile storage for critical system setup information. In many applications, EAROM has been supplanted by CMOS RAM supplied by mains power and backed up with a lithium battery. Flash memory is a modern type of EEPROM invented in 1984. Flash memory can be erased and rewritten faster than ordinary EEPROM, and newer designs feature very high endurance. Modern NAND flash makes efficient use of silicon chip area, resulting in individual ICs with a capacity as high as 32 GB as of 2007. This feature, along with its endurance and physical durability, has allowed NAND flash to replace magnetic in some applications. Flash memory is sometimes called flash ROM or flashy EEPROM when used as a replacement for older ROM types, but not in applications that take advantage of its ability to be modified quickly and frequently. By applying write protection, some types of reprogrammable ROMs may temporarily become read-only memory. Other technologies, there are other types of non-volatile memory which are not based on solid-state IC technology, including, optical storage media, such CD-ROM which is read-only. CDR is write once read many, while CDRW supports erase rewrite cycles. Both are designed for backwards compatibility with CD-ROM. Historical Examples Diode Matrix ROM used in small amounts in many computers in the 1960s as well as electronic desk calculators and keyboard encoders for terminals. This ROM was programmed by installing discrete semiconductor diodes at selected locations between a matrix of word line traces and bit line traces on a printed circuit board. Resistor, capacitor, or transformer matrix ROM, used in many computers until the 1970s. Like diode matrix ROM. It was programmed by placing components at selected locations between a matrix of word lines and bit lines. ENIAC's function tables were resistor matrix ROM, programmed by manually setting rotary switches. Various models of the IBM System 360 and complex peripheral devices stored their microcode in either capacitor or transformer matrix ROM. Core rope a form of transformer matrix ROM technology used where size and weight were critical. This was used in NASA MIT's Apollo spacecraft computers, DEC's PDP-8 computers, and other places. This type of ROM was programmed by hand by weaving wordline wires inside or outside of ferrite transformer cores. Dim and ring stores, in which wires are threaded through a sequence of large ferrite rings that function only as sensing devices. These were used in TXE telephone exchanges. The perforated metal character mask in characteron cathode ray tubes, which was used as one to shape a wide electron beam to form a selected character shape on the screen either for display or a scanned electron beam to form a selected character shape as an overlay on a video signal. Speed, reading, although the relative speed of RAM versus ROM has varied over time, as of 2007 large RAM chips can be read faster than most ROMs. For this reason, ROM content is sometimes copied to RAM or shadowed before its first use, and subsequently read from RAM. Writing, for those types of ROM that can be electrically modified, writing speed is always much slower than reading speed, and it may need unusually high voltage, 
the movement of jumper plugs to apply right enable signals, and special lock and lock command codes. Modern NAND flasher achieves the highest write speeds of any rewritable ROM technology, with speeds as high as 15 megabytes per second, by allowing large blocks of memory cells to be written simultaneously. Endurance and data retention, because they are written by forcing electrons through a layer of electrical insulation onto a floating transistor gate, rewritable ROMs can withstand only a limited number of write and array cycles before the insulation is permanently damaged. In the earliest DAROMs, this might occur after as few as 1,000 write cycles, while in modern flashy EPROM the endurance may exceed 1 million, but it is by no means infinite. This limited endurance, as well as the higher cost per bit, means that flash-based storage is unlikely to completely supplant magnetic disk drives in the near future. The time span over which a ROM remains accurately readable is not limited by write cycling. The data retention of EPROM, EROM, EEPROM, and flash may be limited by charge leaking from the floating gates of the memory cell transistors. Leakage is accelerated by high temperatures or radiation. Masked ROM and fuse antifuse PROM do not suffer from this effect, as their data retention depends on physical rather than electrical permanence of the integrated circuit. Content Images the contents of ROM chips in video game console cartridges can be extracted with special software or hardware devices. The resultant memory dump files are known as ROM images, and can be used to produce duplicate cartridges, or in console emulators. The term originated when most console games were distributed on cartridges containing ROM chips, but achieved such widespread usage that it is still applied to images of newer games distributed on CD-ROMs or other optical media. ROM images of commercial games usually contain copyrighted software. The unauthorized copying and distribution of copyrighted software is usually a violation of copyright laws. Nevertheless, there is a thriving community engaged in the illegal distribution and trading of such software and abandonware. In such circles, the term ROM images is sometimes shortened simply to ROMs, or sometimes changed to ROMs to highlight the connection with a res. See also, EEPROM, EPROM, Flash Memory, PROM, Random Access Memory, Write Only Memory, Terminology, EEPROM, Electrically Erasable Programmable Read Only Memory, EPROM, Erasable Programmable Read Only Memory, PROM, Programmable Read Only Memory, References